Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah, uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine. But now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. You really do care about your friends. It makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's alright. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh, no. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry about what happened in Mizuhagawa. You don't have to apologize. We both had our reasons, so no hard feelings. I'm glad to hear you say that. I really wanted to go easy on you. You were a lot stronger than I anticipated, so I couldn't afford to hold back. Did you get hurt? You don't need to worry so much. I wasn't hurt, and even if I was, I can give myself first aid. Wow, that's impressive. I've always studied all sorts of things, so I could do anything on my own. I see. I do remember you having a good head on your shoulders ever since you were little. Hmm? Since I was little? How do you know what I was like when I was little? Oh, I was just imagining it. I'm sure that's what you must have been like. Why is she so panicked all of a sudden? I suppose I shouldn't doubt her since she's just worried about me. Anyway, I'm totally fine and I can take care of myself. Really, it's okay. All right. I'm sorry I'm such a worrier. I'd just like you to make one last promise to me. Stay away from Togetsu. Togetsu? Why should I promise that? I can't tell you why. But something dangerous might happen to you if you go there. I can't make a promise without knowing why. You have a point. I'm so upset that I can't do anything about it. I don't know what you're hiding or what you're trying to say to me. But I can tell that you're worried. So, thanks for looking out for me. Be careful, Yuito. You too. Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I have to tell you. What's the matter? Let's go to Misubi's. I'll tell you everything there. About things I've been hiding from you. What was it that you were hiding from me? I couldn't tell you before, because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago, Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Yes. 
Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm, let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while, but you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love, never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... The way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm... You're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. <sighs> However... I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Yuito, perfect timing. Could you come and help me in the kitchen? Okay, what's the matter? <sighs> what is this? I can't really see with the sensor in place. What in the world is on that plate? I thought I'd reward everyone with some homemade cooking for all the hard work they've been putting in. What? This is food? It has a really intense smell. That must be from all the spices. I'm actually not very good at cooking. This is beyond not very good. I wanted to get your advice because I know you're a really good cook. I want to make everyone happy. I see. Well, if that's the case, I'd love to help you. I'm not sure what exactly I can do about this, though. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Okay, I'll start with a vegetable stir-fry. Can you watch me? Done. Vegetables are so important for a balanced diet. Hmm, why is this being censored again? I don't think this has much nutritional value. Let's start with something more simple, like fried eggs. Done. That was really simple and easy. Oh, there's the censor again. That's so strange. How can you do this just from frying an egg? I almost feel like giving up. Now. What dish is coming next? Ow! Are you alright? I'm sorry. Hold on. It'll stop hurting if I take a short break. Are you sick or something? It's something chronic. I've had someone else's memories implanted inside my brain as part of my mission. The memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, Togetsu's founder. They sometimes give me headaches. One time, her memories temporarily became stronger. And I almost forgot who I was. 
That sounds really dangerous. Yes, I may have fought her off once, but I never know when her memories will surface again. I thought I'd cook to distract myself, but it didn't work. I wonder if this will plague me for the rest of my life. If this doctor's memories are a part of you, then maybe. Y yes you're right. I don't mean that in a bad way. I've been worried lately, too. You have? Yeah. There's so much I don't know that could happen with my brain or with the world. But I don't let these situations stop me. I keep moving forward. That led me to become friends with all of you. The future always comes with a sense of uncertainty. But it's not necessarily bad. I'm sure you're right. I never felt uncertain or worried when I was in Togetsu. In exchange, I had to bury all my feelings. Right now, I'm scared about the future. But I get to live my life the way I want. Yeah, you're so animated now. Thank you. I'm scared of the doctor's memories because I care so much about who I am now. Okay, my headache is gone. Let's get back to cooking. All right. Let me try to think of a dish you can actually make. I know. How about a rice ball? Oh, that's very homey. What should I wash the rice with? I'll make the rice. You just shape them. Okay, that was some hard work, but we managed to do it. I think. They didn't quite end up in the shape you showed me, but I'm pretty proud of them. Let's go hand them out to everyone. I see you cooked. I just remembered about something I have to do. Would it be okay if I left for a while? Is this a rice ball? I'm sensing something sinister. I'm not getting near that thing. Keep it away from me. They're so scared. I understand where they're coming from, though. Don't worry, they're edible. See? I'll... You're right. They don't look great, but they taste all right. I guess if you say they're okay, Oh, you're right. It's good. <sighs> we managed to get everyone to eat them. They had pretty nice things to say as well. This is amazing. It's the first time I've ever been complimented on my cooking. Really? I guess that's not surprising. I didn't know you'd be so happy. I'm most happy about learning and applying something new on my own. Something that wasn't from Dr. Pope's memories. I see. I guess making rice balls wasn't something the doctor bothered to learn. If I continue to challenge myself like this every day, and bring joy to people, building my own memories, maybe one day the doctor's thoughts will become a thing of the past. I'm sure you're right. I wouldn't feel this hopeful if it wasn't for you. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. Knowing that you watch over me gives me the motivation I need to do my best every day. I can't believe that little child is standing here in front of me right now, teaching me so much. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you don't need to compare me to the past. No, you're not a child anymore. I have to grow too. To not fear the uncertainty of the future, and to move forward. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Really? The next time, I'll make rice balls without your help, and you can taste them. What? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, Captain Seto? What is it, Kasane? It's, um... Sorry, it's nothing. I don't know what to talk about. This has never happened before. Major. There's a matter I wish to. Oh, Kasane, we're not on a mission. You don't need to call me Major. Are you sure? Yes. Let's forget about our ranks when we're in private. Just speak freely. Okay, in that case... Kyoka, there's something I want to talk to you about. Sure, ask me anything. Are you feeling sick? Or is there some problem you're struggling with? No. I was just wondering if you could give me some advice on combat, like you did when I was a cadet. You're quite formidable as it is. I don't think there's anything you need to change about your fighting style. 
Hmm. Oh, there is another important element when it comes to combat other than powers or strategies. It's luck. Luck? Yes. I think it's important to maintain good luck to avoid unforeseen accidents. I know. Let me give you something. It's a protective charm I got recently that's really special. It'll protect you from danger. I don't really want it, but it'd be rude to refuse. I'll just take it for now and put it away somewhere. You have to keep it on you all the time, during battles and even your everyday life. It won't be effective otherwise. Oh, I'm so glad I was able to give you that charm. Now I won't have to worry when I can't be there with you. Kyoka, I have a favor to ask you. Could you not be so nice to me? What? What do you mean by that? You've always taken care of me as my superior officer since my days at the Academy. But we're both in the OSF together now. I want you to look at me like an equal instead of someone in constant need of taking care of. I guess I have been a little too overprotective. And I don't think I can accept this protection charm. It'll get in the way during battle. What? I see. My charm is a nuisance. I see. I didn't think she'd get this upset. <sighs> Was it too much? How come you always look after everyone in the platoon? I didn't have a family when I was growing up. That's why I consider my OSF platoon my family. But as long as you keep fighting in the OSF, you can't avoid goodbyes. It hurt me every time I've lost a friend in battle. <sighs> I was so concerned about never wanting to go through the pain again. I've become overly sensitive about losing my friends. I'm sorry for pushing my selfish feelings on you. I'm sure you don't need that extra burden. I guess to her, everyone in the platoon is like what Naomi is to me. Family. I guess I understand how you feel now. That doesn't bother me at all. Look after us all you want if that's what makes you happy. Do what you need to do. Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me so happy. You've grown so much. This still seems like overkill, but there's no real harm in taking it. I know. Would you take this protection charm too? I hear that having two will double the benefits. I think one is enough. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh. I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? 
Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. Oh, Kasane. What's wrong? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm getting another headache. Okay, it's gone now. You still don't look well. Maybe you should rest. No, I need to clean the hideout soon. I can't cause trouble for... <clears throat> we'll feel a lot better if you rest instead of pushing yourself in this state. Please, Kyoka. Okay, I'll rest for a little bit then. Here, drink one of my special nutrition drinks. Don't worry, it hasn't expired. I didn't join the OSF to take care of someone else. I'll leave the wrong towels here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. It's not so bad being looked after. Just rest up for now. We don't want our nice hideout getting cleaned up by Kyoka anyway. Wow, look how popular she is. She got the lazy Arashi and the sour little Shiden to get off their butts and help. Why don't you do something too, Kagero? What? Can't you tell, Kasane? I'm lovingly watching over everyone for her. Anyway, we should leave her alone so she can actually get some rest. How are you feeling, Kyoka? Brainwaves are stable. Pulse is also at normal level. No issues to report. Kyoka, was that... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like the old me came out again. She seems to pop out when I'm tired or concentrating on something. What does it feel like to suddenly be someone else? Well, it's not like I'm particularly conscious of it, but there's no clear distinction it's a different person from me. To be honest, I don't even know which is the real me. That must be tough. I mean, if you can't tell anyway, why don't you just choose the one you'd rather be? That's a good point. Thank you. You're right. I wish I had a choice. Hmm? Well, I feel so much better thanks to you. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to try to support everyone by yourself anymore. You can come to us for help sometimes. I appreciate your concern, but I'm really okay now. Besides, I'm dying to clean. I have to scrub every inch to make up for lost time. Oh, I know. I'll cook for everyone to thank them. She really does seem like she's doing better. Maybe I'll go do some training. What happened here? I was only gone for a minute. <clears throat> Kasane, it's Kyoka. What about her? She did a clean sweep. This is the end for me. You have to stop her. Clean sweep? It looks like a tornado went through here. Shiden? What happened to you? K Kyoka said she cooked something for us. And when I took a bite, my whole body went numb. Damn it. I should have known from the way it looked. No, wake up, Shiden. <laughs> ah, doing housework feels so good. Oh, Kasane. Do you even recognize the room anymore? I've also made cookies. Feel free to have some. Um, I'll pass. Oh, you're not hungry? That's not good. 
I can make you some porridge then. I have to make sure she never does housework around here ever again. It might be bad for her health, and it's definitely bad for ours. Oh, Kasane, perfect timing. There's a popular fortune teller visiting Seiron right now who's said to be 200% accurate. What? 200%? How can you be twice as right about something? Either way, I'm not really interested. Oh, come on. Let's go get red together. You might gain some valuable information we can use in our upcoming fights. I doubt that, but fine. If you want to go that badly, I guess I'll tag along. Let's get going then. I'm sure there's a line already. This really is a long line. I'm surprised so many people believe in something so unscientific. There's a lot in the world that can't be explained by science. Now let's line up. This is going to take some time. I'm going to go buy something to drink. You stay here and hold our place. What's taking her so long? Did something happen? I should probably go look for her. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Kyoka, who are you talking to? Oh, Kasane. I I'm sorry. Did something happen? Who was that? Someone from Togetsu. What? But Togetsu is on its last legs. Or at least that's what I thought. I was surprised too. It seems the agents scattered around New Himuka are still active. They told me to come back and work with them. But why? Babe isn't operating anymore, and it was the one running Togetsu. They told me they need Dr. Pope's neuroscience expertise in order to revive Babe. None of the other design children were able to adapt to Dr. Pope's vast memory data. With Babe gone, my brain is the only one that has her memories. Just so we're clear, you're not planning on going back to them, right? Of course not. I'd never do that. <sighs> There's still something worrying you. She told me that I need to fulfill my role as someone created by Togetsu. Who do they think they are? I know, but it's true that I was created to fulfill Togetsu's plans. My brain, my body, and everything else. Mm. When I was there, I thought the only value I had was in carrying out my orders. I'm here now because I stopped allowing them to define me on their terms. I don't regret it, but sometimes I'm left feeling uneasy. I feel like my own existence is indefinite. That I'm just worthless. You're not worthless at all. You've saved us countless times. We need the Kyoka who's here with us now, not Dr. Pope's memories. Thank you. You're right. I can't let them get to me. We should try to find out what the Togetsu remnants are up to so we can stop them. Do you have any leads? Not yet, but as long as they need me, they'll approach me again. When they do, I'll pretend to join them and see what they're up to. I might even be able to lure them out. It's a good plan, but risky. Let me help. I can't let you go alone. Okay. I really don't want to get you involved. But I need your help. Oh, we never got our fortunes told. Ugh, I was hoping to get some good news. Ugh. Kasane, the Togetsu agents contacted me. I was instructed to go to these coordinates located on Hiano Mountain. I plan to lure them out and gather intel. Will you come with me? Yes, of course. But there will be two of us, so wouldn't it be easier to just round them up and capture them? It depends on what they do. First, let's go where they asked me to and wait for them to show themselves. Okay, let's head to Hiano Mountain. The coordinates are just up ahead. Let's keep going. <coughs> Do you still have doubts about your existence? Not as much thanks to you. However, we should focus on the task at hand. 
here. You should hide until they show themselves. All right. Wait. Something's coming this way. We'll corner it. You'll need to break its outer shell. Kasane, use your psychokinesis and hit it with some... Got it. Check me. Heavy. With that oil, it'll be hard to move if it gets on you, so be careful. The enemy shell is broken. Kasane, now's the time to attack. Useless, it's over. Let's keep going. I'll fight with you.
shower working. I'll try to break it. Useless. It's over. That seems to be the spot. Don't let it work! Let's keep going. That seems to be the last of them. No, not yet. I know you're there. Come out. <clears throat> I wouldn't have called out if we weren't ready for you. Now, it's time to talk. It looks like you're the only one here. <sighs> Her face is identical to yours. I suspected it. You're also one of the design children. Just so you know, restoring Babe's data is impossible. Even with Dr. Pope's knowledge of neuroscience. I'm sorry you wasted your time. <laughs> Impudent fool. What do you mean? Feign confidence is not advised in this situation. We do not need the knowledge or the technology. We need your brain. The only brain that holds Dr. Pope's memories. You were going to use my brain to build a new babe. Huh? Babe prepared contingency plans for all scenarios. The current situation is just one of those. If the mainframe goes down, we use a spare. Togetsu merely needs to carry out the plan faithfully. I feel sorry for you. There isn't anyone to give you orders anymore. Yet you still obey. You have nowhere else to go. You don't know any other way to live. You can only carry out your orders. <laughs> You should be feeling sorry for yourself. What did you say? As long as I am serving a higher purpose, I can live happily, without worry or hesitation. What about you? You lost your purpose and your value, doomed to live a scared and anxious life. <sighs> you were listening in on us? I do not have to. I know how you feel. You are the same as I am, a worthless being. Only Togetsu can give us value. No, I... Watch out! What? Don't compare yourself to Kyoka. You're nothing more than a mere puppet. And yes, I do my fair share of worrying, but that's a far better way to live. It's better than being used all my life like you. Life is worth more when you make your own decisions. Kasane... It does not matter what you say. Your true nature does not change. You should be well aware of this. Yes, I know. I'm sure I'll be living scared the rest of my life, but that's fine. Kasane helped me realize that this fear is proof that I freed myself from my puppet strings. I control myself now. Whether I have Dr. Pope's memories or not, I'm still me. The moment I freely chose my own future, I became the individual Kyoka. <sighs> I handed her over to the proper authorities in Suo. We should let the government take care of the Togetsu remnants. Now, that's that. How are you feeling? I'm still uneasy. But it's not bad now that I know it's a part of me. Do you remember that fortune teller? I remember waiting in the long line. I think the reason why fortune reading is so popular is because everyone is afraid of the future. You think so? Yes. Everyone takes each step forward carrying that worry with them. I'd love to have my future read. Let's make sure we actually go next time. In other words, we have to wait in that long line again. <sighs> I'm glad she feels better.